The name Daniel K today is synonymous with uh, luxury. It's synonymous with uh, design and uh, craftsmanship. Um, it's everything that a woman uh, wants. It is the awe-inspiring diamonds paired with award-winning designs that give Daniel Kay's jewelry their allure. Daniel Coram, a third-generation jeweler at the helm of this dynamic brand, is one of the youngest luxury jewelry designers working in the United States. Self-assured and unquestionably talented, Daniel sees the most esteemed diamond jewelry houses as his only competition. There is room in the industry today for another luxury brand in that caliber and these price points. Daniel K. Jewelry takes its inspiration from the architectural landscape of New York City, and it's Daniel's approach to high-end platinum jewelry that distinguishes him from other diamond jewelry houses. His handmade designs aim to be an essential part of a woman's life and are to be worn every day. For Daniel, it all begins with the stones. If you see any one of the, my pieces, that's all, that's, all that we, that's all the first thing that hits you are the stones. This is eye candy. It's a half a million dollar diamond. It's a fancy vivid yellow cushion. It's not an everyday that you get to see a stone like this. We are extremely, extremely detail oriented when it comes to making jewelry. Everything, every single piece that I make, I go through step by step, stage by stage with my jewelers. It definitely is an element of passion in manufacturing. This is the Uterini band. It's a copyrighted design. One of the reasons why I designed this ring is that I wanted to look for a way to show, show off our diamonds. Every stone has its own identity. Everything is done to bring maximum brilliance into the stone. In May 2003, Daniel K was launched as a luxury consumer brand. The strategic multifaceted marketing plan began by introducing Daniel K to the editorial community. The purpose of this move was to earn recognition and respect from the media in an effort to develop the brand's credibility with leaders and tastemakers in the industry. In the first 12 months of the launch, over 15 million people viewed the Daniel K name and product through the editorial pages of magazines and newspapers, as well as through TV news coverage. People know who Daniel K is, which is an enormous feat to have accomplished in such a short period of time. The editors know who he is. He's a young man that has enormous energy and style. And people look towards him for innovation in the jewelry industry. During this period, Daniel Coren was one of the first diamond designers asked by the Diamond Trading Company to create a collection of right-hand rings for their own right-hand ring initiative. Daniel's innovative style took the right-hand ring to the next level in luxury diamond design. Red, the right-hand ring advertising campaign propelled Daniel K into the consumer market for the first time. What resulted was a veritable explosion of media attention and an undeniable buzz around the Daniel K name. The right-hand ring campaign was very significant for Daniel K because right-hand ring was the first fashion collection that Daniel K launched. Prior to that, Daniel K was primarily a classic jewelry house. Actually, this is a right-hand ring that I've designed and uh, actually won an award with the DPS and the JCK uh, for uh, the Nova. That's what we call this ring. The reason why I've named this ring the Nova is because uh, the diamonds seem as if they're floating stars, you know, surrounding, uh, you want to call it the moon, or in this case it's an Asher cut. I never meant to lie. With a striking right-hand ring ad campaign blanketing the U.S. market by the fall and winter of 2004, the Daniel K message was becoming obvious. Independent women wear Daniel K's right-hand rings throughout their daily lives. It's sort of the right-hand ring campaign. You know, the left hand is for we, the right hand is for me. The bauble set in platinum boasts almost four carats of Asher cut diamonds. This is the Aurora the favorites of uh, Deborah Messing. 2004 Golden Globes. We were able to establish a relationship with um, a particular celebrity named Deborah Messing. Deborah Messing is a star um, on television for a show that she does called Will and Grace. Daniel Kay at the same time was also still launching and still advertising his right-hand ring campaign. So that it's very important that we integrated the PR 
aspect of the marketing campaign for Daniel K with the advertising to really create a much stronger image for Daniel. In addition, loyal celebrity relationships have grown out of Daniel K's impressive editorial coverage. Influential fans include Oscar winner Halle Berry, actress Jennifer Love Hewitt, trend-setting football superstar David Beckham, music legend Elton John, R&B artist Mary J. Blige, television star Deborah Messing, and hip-hop mogul Sean P. Diddy Combs. July 2004 was a, a pivotal moment for Daniel's brand. We participated in an event out in the Hamptons called the White Party. Major celebrities from Beyonce and Jay-Z and from the hip-hop community are all at this party, which is thrown by P. Diddy, the, the rapper, actor, Sean Combs. Um, the exposure that Daniel was able to capture at this event really is almost the starting point for where we would like to see the brand grow. Not only did the White Party succeed in amplifying the brand awareness of Daniel K, but $6 million in jewelry with a retail value of $9 million was sold to the financially assured guests in attendance. As a follow-up to the star-studded White Party, Daniel K also had a commanding presence at the 17th annual Condé Nast Traveller of Reader's Choice Awards, the highest honour in the travel industry, celebrating the best of the best in the world of luxury travel. As the exclusive jeweler of the show's VIP Celebrity Lounge, Daniel Kay had over $10 million of extraordinary jewellery on display for celebrities such as Glenn Close, Anna Paquin, Joshua Jackson and Christy Brinkley to admire. And dressed celebrity presenters Saffron Burrows, Angela Bassett, Carolyn Murphy and Elizabeth Rome in his beautiful diamonds for the evening. The Daniel K. product reaches its final consumer through an exclusive distribution network of over 200 elite retailers across the United States. These select stores are provided with a comprehensive marketing support system that allows them to confidently sell Daniel K. jewellery to their affluent clientele. Daniel K. launched the authorised retailer plan at the Couture and Las Vegas shows in 2004. The idea behind this plan was to support the retailers as much as we could in selling the product to the consumer. One of the central components of that was the display and packaging material. We wanted to make sure that stores had, could create the right visual environment for selling Daniel K. jewelry. So the packaging and display itself is a visual representation of the brand. This program creates a Daniel K. store in a store that is formulated to deliver consistent brand messages to the consumer. In addition to the luxurious brand packaging and display materials, the Daniel K. Retailer Plan incorporates event marketing programs such as trunk shows, cooperative advertising and in-store training. A key component of the Daniel K. Business Strategy was to generate substantial impact at prominent jewellery trade shows. Being selected in 2003 to participate for the first time in the exclusive Couture show helped to solidify Daniel Kay's position as a force in the luxury brand arena. It was historic for Daniel to be asked to this Couture show. The Couture show really exemplifies the best of what's being done in the industry. It was his coming out party where he um, not only met with the retailers that he's grown to know, but then also was visible to the editorial community for the very first time, where consumer magazines who attend the show were actually starting to see and hear about the brand Daniel K. In May 2004, Daniel was invited to increase his presence at Couture. Daniel K. was one of the five most prominent exhibitors at the event. It was unprecedented that a jeweler would be recognized as a leader in the field of couture jewelry in such a short period of time. By continually participating in selected trade shows such as Centurion and JA New York, Daniel Kay strives to raise brand awareness. In September 2004, looking to market the brand internationally, the Daniel Kay collection was pilot tested in East Asia at the Hong Kong trade show. Domestically, a series of high-profile consumer events celebrating diamonds, romance and luxury 
were implemented for the height of the 2004 holiday selling season. The events took shape in a Daniel Kaye-sponsored book tour for two of the most revered experts in the jewellery industry, Penny Prodau and Marion Fassel, co-writers of InStyle magazine's highly influential jewel box section and co-authors of countless books on fine jewellery. The Power Jewellery Trio made joint in-store appearances at select stores across the country to promote Daniel K. Jewellery, along with Miss Prodau and Miss Fassel's newest book, With This Ring. Daniel really stays true to his design aesthetic, and as his collection has grown over the course of the time that he's been really focusing on more fashion jewellery, um, you really can see an identifiable style and design that's offered that you don't see anywhere else or by anyone else. The Reverso Collection, this is one of the earrings that's uh, part of the collection. Daniel Case Jewelry is produced in New York City, and it's handmade in platinum in New York City. And Daniel Corrin himself sits in the factories, designing the jewelry, stretching the limits of what is possible to achieve in terms of jewelry design. A second ad campaign, Daniel K. New York City, launched in spring 2004, plays on the importance of the Manhattan roots of the brand and highlights the quality, craftsmanship and reputation of the jewellery. There is a Daniel Korn behind the brand of Daniel K. And I think people are excited to see this new energy in that world of diamond jewellery. The Daniel K. brand has has no limitations. I think because of what he's doing that's so innovative, the approaches that have been taken in PR, marketing, and advertising, and the integrated approach, it allows for endless opportunities on every aspect. I think that if we are successful in establishing Daniel K as a luxury brand, the sky's the limit. It feels like I was born and meant to do this.